What is up, investors? Welcome back to In the Green with Charlie. You may have heard about the $100,000 challenge, where one investor user won the chance to manage $100,000 for a month and keep all the profits. I talked to Ola, who won the challenge, about his strategy to make the most of this opportunity. Hey Ola, how are you doing today? I'm great. I'm doing. I'm doing blessed. I'm. I'm. I'm just. You know, it's raining outside, so it's a little gloomy, but I'm doing good. Well, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. So, could you just get started by briefly introducing yourself to the investor community? Yeah, sure. Um, so my name is uh, Ola Oluwa, but a lot of people just call me Ola because you know a lot of people can't pronounce that. But um, yeah, I'm currently in Canada. I was born and raised in Nigeria. I grew up there. And then I moved to Canada around like three years ago. Um, I'm 18, by the way, for a lot of people who don't know, I'm, I'm very young. I just, I just got into uh, investing like what, a good two years ago? I said, I just got interested in it like a good two years ago. That was about it. But, um, but yeah. That's that's me in um in a suitcase, I guess. What got you started in investing two years ago? What was like the uh, the thing that got you going? Hmm. I would say it was my friend group. The people I was I was I was uh I was around always used to talk about like um the rich people up there, you know, Jeff Bezos and like uh Microsoft and uh, all those all those big uh Bill Gates in them. And we found out that the reason why they were so wealthy wasn't because they owned these big companies. It was mostly because they had money put away in stocks and they had all these, these, uh, these um, trades like everywhere. And I, I just got interested in that. I was like, okay, how am I supposed to, how can I, how can I be, how can I be up there? Like, you know, and that was, that was kind of like where I started from. And so I started learning, like, <laughs> this is it, this isn't a, uh, is this isn't funny business it's not like because to me it was what i imagined investing to be was you placed a bet it was it was kind of like betting and like gambling and i that's what i saw it to be when at that time but i see it now and it's more like an educated guess until to, to what's gonna happen i guess gotcha so, yeah. so how did you find investor i i can't remember per se but i'm pretty sure it was because it was probably because I was looking for an app to invest. And as I was doing my research, I, I came across Investor. And I remember I came across it when we still had the graphs like on top of the we have like sections in the in the app right now where like there's a there's a there's you can see your progress in this different section, but before you could see your progress like on top of the the little bar. There was like a little bar on top of it. We see your progress and that's that's when I that's around the time that's when I got into it and that's I guess that's how I found investor just by research. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. So the reason we are interested in interviewing you is because you are the winner and you are you get to manage a hundred thousand dollars with the a hundred thousand dollar challenge. So for people who might not know, could you explain just what the a hundred thousand dollar challenge is? Okay. Well, basically, uh, the hundred thousand dollar challenge is you get you get given a hundred thousand dollars to manage and to invest. But um, the one place where I got really confused when I started is because I thought the hundred thousand dollar challenge was you get a hundred thousand dollars, but that's not it. You you get a hundred thousand dollars to manage and you get a hundred thousand dollars to invest. And whatever you make on top of that hundred thousand dollars after investing after a month, that's what you get back. That's what you get given. So if you make a thousand dollars on top of them, a hundred thousand get a thousand dollars but yes that's basically how it works how did you get selected to be the person that got to manage the hundred thousand dollars um well i heard about this thing uh investor plus is something that the investor team is working on and apparently my analytics came out as like top of the chart in in terms of like uh i guess i had a bunch of instruments stocked up and i was just watching a bunch of like I was always doing my research in in the app. I would look at news. I would uh, I would um, I would stock up on instruments. I'll always like just be like committed and active on the app. 
I was very active on it. I, I was always on it. I was always checking. I remember inviting like 20 of my friends to do the same thing with me. And we're all like, we're all in it now. And it's, it's crazy. I feel like that's what got me. It's just that consistency that got me to, to winning it. I was so surprised when I won it too. I was like, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting it. What's your good, what's going to be your strategy to try to uh, make the most of your hundred thousand dollars you're investing it with? My strategy right now is just um, right now I'm just looking at the the I'm looking at areas where I could get the the most in a month in a, in a sense because I'm very I'm very like new I'm still very new to investing I only got uh, I just became a financial advisor like two weeks ago. And I'm still learning a lot. I'm still learning a lot when it comes to investing because I personally, there's still a lot of terms that I see. I'm scrolling through the app and I'm looking at the news, I'm reading the news and I see a lot of like terms I don't understand. I remember when we started talking about um, like bullish, bullish, uh, bullish, all those terms, I just didn't understand them. And uh, I guess that's, that's something I have to study for now. And um, it's just research, to be honest. I just want to research, do a lot of research before I put my money into anything. And the one that's really looking up right now is weed stocks and like cannabis. And I feel like I want to, I feel like that's where I'm going to, I'm going to go, to be honest. I, I, I think that's where I'm going to go, but we'll see how it goes in the future. So you're looking at some of the cannabis stocks, any other companies you're looking to invest in with those? With a hundred thousand, I'm looking into um, mm, oh yes, uh, the vaccine just came out, the the corona the coronavirus vaccine just came out, and I I just put I put a I put a ten thousand into um, I think it was Biotechnologies. I can't remember the name of the company, but um, yeah, I guess that's another company I'll be looking at because the I'm hoping the vaccine does like. It gains, it gains a lot of profit this month. I, I, I hope so. We'll see how that plays out. For think- sure. So you seem like you're really interested in learning more about the stock market. What are some things over the next like month or two that you're really interested in getting better at or learning more about specifically? Oh, one thing I think I want to get better at is um, I would say just prediction and making like, there's not, there's how do I put this? Predictions aren't always correct. Like a lot of people make predictions and they're not, they're not correct, but I want to be able to make a very like educated, uh, get more uh, educated on like how, how to predict where the stock market is going to go. Cause I, I remember I was doing my research about two days ago and I saw, I saw instruments that help you like that, that give you um, how do I put this? I give you predictions on how the stock market is going to go. And I still don't understand how that works. I still don't understand how people are able to gather so much knowledge and, you know, put it together and use that in predicting how market will go. So I still have a lot to learn. I still have so much to learn. And I'm just, I'm just taking it bit by bit. Any, any little information that comes in, I'm just grabbing it. I'm just grabbing it. And, and just yeah to me I honestly feel like I wish I won this like a little further down the line when I was in the first because I'm like I'm very I'm very inexperienced I'm very inexperienced when it comes to investing I'm very inexperienced and the the most I've ever invested was three hundred dollars and I'm just I'm I'm very I'm very uh I'm very hopeful that this turns out this turns out at least it just turns out good. That's, that's my hope. For now. Definitely. Like, who do you look to for advice uh, on these things? Because uh, to help you kind of make these big decisions. Ooh, I would say the community. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the community. I'm looking at everyone because a lot of people are sending me things. And a lot of people are sending me uh, news on this and that. And I'm just, just looking at all the instruments they uh, recommend to me and everything. And one thing I'm doing is like, I'm, I guess I'm trying to like in the fantasy, the fantasy finance, I would, I would like, I would use that to, 
I use that to, um, I would use that to, um, I guess, predict how it's going to go. And I'll use the, the um, fantasy finance to see how that's going to work out. But in terms of like, who I'm looking up to now, it's the community. I'm looking up to the community at, at this point. Everyone's bringing, everyone's just throwing advice at me and I'm just taking it all in. I'm taking it all in. That's good. And speaking of the community, you mentioned a few times that you have friends who have helped you with the app or on the app with you. Do you have like a league you're in with all your friends? How's that work? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, we created a league. Uh, I have all my friends and we're in our own little league. I created it and we're all just learning from each other. And when one person is gaining a lot of profit from, let's say, Snapchat, right? We'll all just we'll all just throw our money into Snapchat and see how that goes. And sometimes one thing I've learned is that one thing I did learn in the past, I would say two, three months in terms of investing is like, um, I can't invest when it's high because that's like, I, to me, to me, it made sense a good three months ago. Like, okay, you put your money in when it's going up, but that's not, to me, that's, it doesn't make any sense now. And we all, we've all as a team, as a, as a group, we've all learned that, that, you know, we can't, we can't be impulsive on our decisions. We have to like really, you know, dig in and do our, do our research, I guess, and see what this company is going to yield in like the next month or so. Gotcha. Well, uh, I hope you uh, do your research and do really well with the $100,000 challenge. I wish the best of luck to, to you. And thank you for coming on In the Green today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Money making moves, machines with tools and drills making grooves, missions impossible. I am not a financial advisor and my comment should never be taken as financial advice. Investments come with risk, so always do your research and analysis before. Loud.